I believe that aquaculture is one of Maine's most promising areas for economic development. When you look at the demand for seafood, things like scallops and oysters, and you couple that with Maine's enormous coastline and a wide variety of marine environments, it's a natural fit. Aquaculture is uh, the idea of raising usually some aquatic based organism, marine, whether it's marine or fresh, uh, essentially growing that organism instead of going out and harvesting it with you know, nets and gill nets and long lines and sort of the typical ways that we do fishery. Uh, so instead, the idea is that if we can control more of the situation, whether it's the environment or whether it happens to be a culturing technique, that we can enhance the productivity of that particular traditionally wild harvested species by doing it in culture. The potential of what we're doing, I'd like to say, is huge. And in fact, I'd like to say we'll feed the world. The potential over time, and it's going to take time, is that this form of agriculture will be supplying food locally, regionally, perhaps nationally. It has the potential for being developed and is being developed on the main coast. So the potential is not just for, for food, nutritious food, uh, but also for jobs and businesses. Our industry is very heavily science-based. It is biotech. And even the more extensive field aspects of it are, are turning in that direction. And so it's very important that we have this the scientific expertise to draw on and the capacity to be able to uh, carry out both field research and benchtop research that provides the answers and the timelines for businesses to know where money should be invested, where it shouldn't, where are the opportunities and where are the hazards that we face. The buoys that have been deployed are part of a $20 million NSF project called the Sustainable Ecological Aquaculture Network. And what this is is a network of both um, institutions like the University of New England, the University of Maine, the University of Maine at Machias, and growers themselves and the industry um, to create this new network um, to create these information streams. By deploying these buoys, we'll learn where the valuable nutrients for production are and uh, share that with the public. And that'll promote better understanding of where the best habitat for aquaculture is in the state. My own research has to do with how the animals work with the environment. And so if we can get some nicer facilities at the Darling Center where we can change environmental variables like ten temperature, salinity, food concentration, and we can look at what makes the animals grow better. Then we can go out in the ocean and find those places with our satellites and with our buoys and, and with some of our cruises with our students and researchers. And then we could say, oh, do you realize, you know, we can grow a thousand tons of scallops in this bay that we never thought of before. And you can match the requirements of the animal with what you have in the environment. And that's kind of the idea. When we opened this, uh, this restaurant, it was, it was our, our big focus was on showcasing what we believe to be some of the best oysters in the world. The best oysters are going to be the ones that are grown closest to you. Um, there's no better place to eat, eat Maine oysters than on the coast of Maine. So I thought it was really, really important for us to really develop strong relationships with the farmers and uh, really showcase Maine oysters. Anything that anybody can do to make aquaculture stronger, more viable, is going to be better for, better for us, going to be better for them, better for the coast of Maine, better for the economy. What we see here at the Darling Marine Center as our mission is to help the industry both with uh, problems that might be impediments toward 
you know, the growth of that industry or that might stop the growth of that industry. From disease research to also being the sort of R&D arm, the research and development arm for this industry and helping them discover new lines that might be more resistant to diseases, for instance, in the future, and also new species. We're, we're the first area uh, in the state of Maine to grow scallops, for instance, in a culturing technique. So we really see ourselves as answering problems for them and being a, a source of information to help them make better decisions for the industry.